uh, FIFA's leaders met via video call for three hours on Thursday afternoon with clubs and players to shape the changes that the world of football needs to make to adapt to the global crisis that has been experienced because of the COVID-19 virus. And all parties seem to be aware of the need to adapt to the new scenario that football will experience from now on with the proposals made by FIFA potentially set to be in effect from next week. Now, the measures with the greatest impact is the one that refers to the request that footballers take a 50% pay cut as this situation continues to paralyze the football world. And the Premier League has also has already uh, adopted such a measure. Now, we're looking forward to uh, the Premier League resuming and, uh, of course, uh, all football activities. But, of course, uh, nothing has been confirmed yet. And everyone, everyone is uh, trying to uh, make do what they have at the moment. Players taking pay cuts and, of course, some of these players as well uh, supporting the cause, talking about fighting the COVID-19 virus. We'll be having a phone uh, conversation with Andrew Randa, uh, the media officer of the Super Eagles of the Nigeria Under-20 national team, talking about the Flying Eagles of Nigeria here that is live on the show with us this morning. Good morning, Andrew. Uh, good morning, Doka. How are you? You're not self-isolating, I guess. I know you're not quarantining yourself, but it's yeah. all good. Yes. Um... TV is essential <laughs> services, so I understand. Exactly. Exactly. But of course, we still need to keep ourselves safe by washing our hands and sanitizing properly. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, there's this story breaking about the FIFA salary code that I'm hearing. And uh, I would like you to help share more light on this because uh, I'm hearing that some of the players will have to take pay cuts. And uh, of course, uh, some of these club sides also will need to um, make do what the regulations of the new rule will be, talking about battling this coronavirus and of course, uh, the money that will be coming into the various clubs. But please shed more light on this. Um, there's been a lot of discussion related to the shutdown of league football across Europe and Africa. In fact, the whole world. Uh, because of the uh, coronavirus issue. And unfortunately, uh, by contract, all the teams will have to pay salaries in full, even if the players are at home resting with their families. Um, so this has caused a lot of problem, um, especially in League One, where some of the chairman of the clubs, the presidents of the clubs have said they are finding it very uh, difficult to be able to sustain salaries and also pay their staff, uh, both essential and non-essential. So it's, it's been really, really difficult for a lot of teams so, um, you know, a, lot, a few other people sat down together and told that maybe there has come a time in our footballing life that they have to take drastic situation. And this has to do with salary caps for teams across, across the world. And what this means is, in a case of uh, like an outbreak of any virus or whatever it is, like Ebola or COVID-19, uh, there will be a situation where they can invoke that clause to put a salary cap um, for virtually everybody. Uh, I'll give you an example. Yeah. Uh, say in La Liga, uh, if Messi earns 400,000 pounds a week okay. and for two or three or four weeks or a month, there's no football on ground, there will be a salary cap that all the players will have to fall under. So let's say, for example, the cap is 100,000. So the big players like Messi and Ronaldo and the big NS will have to go with 100K while the others will go from 100K and down. And this is to help the clubs to stay afloat. Uh, don't forget, a few other people have, have, let, have to let to go their match day staff uh, in European clubs, uh, because they cannot sustain paying them, even though games are not there. And then again, sponsors also have their issues. The monies are not coming in. And you know, in as much as games are being played, the revenue drive of the clubs gets increased, and then they get things in their coffers, and that is what they use to offset uh, salaries, allowances, and all that. But if these monies are not coming in, it would be very difficult for clubs to be able to pay salaries and allowances to both the playing staff and the administrative staff. Too. So that's the whole point of the whole thing. And they are hoping to see that they'll, this will be agreed upon and then it will be implemented. Now, let, let's talk about the clubs because you mentioned some, there are some clubs that can actually handle this situation. But there are some clubs that do not even have the money, um, enough money to pay some of their players. So they have to let go of some staff. What do you think will happen to these uh, club sides? Do you think they will get go into liquidation? I don't really know, Doc. I can't say for now. Uh, maybe they might get a bailout. I don't know. But a lot of clubs in League One have been complaining severely. Um, sponsors are actually thinking of their own losses because advert revenues is not coming through. Um, they're not getting value for money and a lot. And then, of course, like I said, in Europe, the match day experience and matches actually generate tons of revenue for, for clubs, uh, merchandise, branding, and all that. But if these monies are not coming into their coffers, they cannot pay staff. A few clubs have laid off um, 
their casual staff, no, those are, that are coming to work on match base because obviously there are no games at all. Some have committed to still playing, paying their casual staff maybe 60 or 70 percent of the monies. Some are committed to paying full amounts like Arsenal. And then Arsenal said up to April 30th, they will be able to pay 100 percent allowances for their casual staff and some uh, mid level staff too. But some other clubs that are not as big as Arsenal cannot be able to do that. So for now, I cannot say what will happen. Probably after the whole corona thing has gone off, maybe a few clubs might be able to get their monies back or maybe able to find a way of getting their coffers to tilt again. Some might get bailouts. I don't know how it's going to work out, but it's not really looking good at all. Very true. Now, lastly, um, we heard that the National League has been declared null and void. Um, do you think this would um, go up to get into the English Premier League? Because there are rumours that it might be declared null and void. And if this happens, Liverpool will not be winning the title <laughs> this season. My friend, Chana Achere, Maka and and other Liverpool fans will not be happy with you, Doka. <laughs> uh, but I, I really do not think that it's going to get up to that. Because the Premier League has already said they're committed to finishing the league this year. And they will have, um, since because uh, uh, Euro 2020 has been moved to 2021, it means uh, they can have a bit of wait time to be able to do their preseason and then get back to the season at the regular time. But the Premier League have already said, except something happens between now and another time, the they said they're committed to finishing the league season, the remaining matches, and then start the 2020-21 season. All right. Thank you very much for talking to us this morning, Andrew. Uh, thank you, Doc. Uh, right. And please stay safe. Wash your hands. Definitely. Uh, practice safe distances and do whatever it is you can to stay alive. Exactly. Thank you very much for your advice this morning. Uh, thank you and have a lovely day. All right, you too. And that's uh, Andrew Randa, the media officer for the Nigeria Under-20 team, talking about uh, the Flying Eagles of Nigeria, giving us an update of what the whole salary cap is all about.